Today we have What's up? It's, it's your, your girl, girl Unique Kishi. I'm back, back again, again with another video. <laughs> Hello, guys. Um, today we have a special guest as you guys can see, Mrs. Valade de Jamia, um, giving mommy. She's looking cute, looking classy, very ready to share some knowledge today. So make sure you grab your drinks, your popcorn, and get ready for information. Okay. As you can see from today's title, our video is going to be um, college or university affordable this conversation um, for parents and just even um, students that are looking for options on coming to Canada, um, want to go to school and you know, you're trying to decide on an affordable option and we're here to give you our one, two, one, two cents on what we know. So, all right. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Wow. Thank you for coming on today. <laughs> I feel like you've never like been in a sit down video with me before. Like, yeah. Like vlogs and. Okay, all so thanks for having me. So um, today, like Riluaki she said, we're going to be talking about um, budget friendly options. Um, you know, college or university, and especially from the perspective of an international student you know and i just thought to put the word out there because really when you look at the situation back home and the devaluation now the devaluation issue isn't peculiar to you know nigeria alone um, a lot of currencies have had to take a hit but i think nigerians nigeria's own is just very very bad right and all of that yeah right now and um so uh, which i just thought to Put some information out there so I, i'm very aware that parents really want the best for their children and you know i always say to people that personally i'm a recipient of a mother that valued education it wasn't exactly very convenient for her but she ensured that we all had a university education so i totally understand why when parents just you know want to do whatever it takes um however there's also the part about financial fitness there's the part of financial planning. There's the part of affordability. Um, because you don't want to start a journey that you cannot complete. Yeah. Um, so today you have, let's say, a typical Nigerian family, three children. And then you have one child here come to the university. Um, you need to begin to think from day one um, what's going to happen to the other siblings. Yeah. Otherwise, you're going to create sibling rivalry yeah. you know and all of that so I think it's from that angle where people shouldn't put themselves under undue pressure yes. as in it's not it's, it's enough pressure that children face here and I guess one of these days you know we'll talk about it it's totally 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 different undergrad in Canada is a different ball game. so you know then piling up that additional pressure on the child or financial, or financial yeah. oh we don't Absolutely. know whether we can send your school fees whether we can pay and you and know, can only work 20 hours as well, so the only much you can do, sir. So, even if you can find a part time job, last last you get your one key, that's still not going to cover your school fees, exactly. So, so, so I, and I think today, what we really want to talk about is how people can enjoy the best of both worlds, yes. So, you know, you want your child to come here, um, you want the child to get a better life, better yeah. education, quality of life, quality of life, exposure, and all of that. And I think those things are great stuff. Um, but how do you do that without necessarily putting a strain breaking the bank? <laughs> it's simply there's a bank to be broken. <laughs> if you have a bank to break, then yeah. you know you're halfway. Yeah. If yeah. there is no bank to break, yeah. you're just going to put yourself under a lot of pressure. Yeah. You're going to put your spouse under a lot of pressure. You're going to put the child under a lot of pressure, and there is no need 
all for all of that so have you ever heard of like so you know there's like so from what i know is that there's university there's college and there's community college there's college there's community college now i really don't know too much about community college colleges but i, I think for colleges as in, and there are a lot of great college colleges in canada and so the, that's the route i really want to encourage people today to explore yeah and this is just these are just recommendations yes, opinions like yeah so and people are still free to sit down and evaluate their options as a family do your research do your well. research but this is us just from what we've observed and yeah. you know just to like help people now so for a college a typical college you need to find out the ones that qualify for the post-graduation work permit yeah now not all colleges not all programs qualify mm -hmm. i'll say that again not all colleges not all programs qualify mm. now i think the very basic stuff is that the college the program must be at least 10 months okay. for it for you to qualify for a post um graduate, graduate work permit okay. no work permit so there are a lot of colleges you know in canada yeah. yeah so the first thing you want to be sure about is that this college is accredited and the program that your child is going into is also accredited to allow the child to work now, so why I recommend the college route is just bringing a child straight from Nigeria, Nigeria secondary school, students, straight here. Sometimes beyond even the financial aspect, some children do struggle from the issues of accent to methodology of teaching to the methodology of learning to environment. And you know, it's university. Unlike Nigeria, where people get into university at 16 here, the average age for university is 18, 19. So the the professor already has an expectation that you're matured. Yeah, yeah. So he's not going to babysit you. He's not going to, you know, try yeah, and... Make um, sure you've gotten your work done. done. No, 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 no. No way. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't have time for that. And, and so what, what, what the colleges, even beyond the financial part, does for a child is that it allows them, you know, settle in, get, you know, absorb the, the, system, the shock and all of that. And that's why some people actually come and do grade 12. Yes. That's the whole idea of a grade 12 actually for those that can afford it. But because today the video is really around affordability yeah. and budget friendly, friendliness. So we're assuming that, you know what, we don't, grade 12 is completely yeah, out of date because yeah. for you to do grade 12, most of the time is a private right. school. It's more expensive. Uh, it's more expensive. So that's completely yeah. out of it. But what do you think about the stigma of, um, Nigerian just saying it's not invested in the college ah it's not good enough like say, say, and i don't know what do you mean by stigma you know stay on your lane no seriously and, and this thing because the i remember when really she was going to come to canada she came to canada in fact last week made it exactly four years yeah. so we came 31st i think came 31st of july 2018 yes. okay. or thereabout yeah. so about four years ago and i remember the first fees i paid CAD was at 260 something, Ooh. yes, even at the black market. Today, CAD is about 500, 510. In fact, last week, CAD got as high as 540, 560. So it's not about whether it sounds cool or whether, you know, it's about the sustainability. Remember what we said, what I said earlier on about, um, you know, making sure a first child. You know, you're not doing just for the first child. You must think about the siblings. Because then you also put once you, if you send a child to university, you now put that pressure on the first child that they are going to invest you. You must now get a good job to pay for your. No, 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 no. You're lucky. That happens where there's a lot of spacing. Okay. That's not the way children are born. So those no, people okay. that are like that, they are one. Of, they are the outliers. Okay. The way most Nigerian families are. In yeah. fact, most first and second born is less than two years because second child is always like mistake. <laughs> Well, in fact, six out of ten, and I don't have my statistics, but a lot of my friends, that's what happened. Yeah. You know, they just realized, oh my God, I'm pregnant again. <laughs> you know? So there isn't enough. So that one cannot even work. Okay. Yeah. You know, so um, so we're talking about three children in a space of four years or five years. So the there would year? be a time that the three, your three children, will be in university at the same time. Yeah. 
And so if you do not have an education trust, so that's another conversation. And I'm just going to be jumping here and there because that's something that helps. And that's why I believe that this video would also be relevant for people that don't even have children in university yet. Okay. Because you need to begin to plan early. Yeah. You can't begin to plan for foreign education when yeah. the child is in SS2. Yeah. You're late. Mm -hmm. You came late to the party. Yeah. So you need to start it very early and you know, I will also always say to people that you cannot have an anticipated forex expenditure and your investment is in, no, is in NGN, yeah. no. So you must ensure that whatever your anticipated or future Expen dreams yeah. are, make sure that you have matching investments. That currency. That Very currency present. just makes it um, a lot easier. So now back to the issue of um, stigma. There is no stigma. Seriously, and it's about you having an objective and knowing where what you're doing, why you're saying yes, yeah, and what, what you can afford. So, when the child does say, um, one year of college in a school that is accredited in an accredited program, the child can actually finish, or maybe a two year program, finish and then work for one year. That's important. The child can work for one year because upon graduation, the child gets a Postgraduate. Exactly. So once you finish your two years and you've got, so when you do your two years in college, you work for a year. You can then transfer those credits into a university. So we would, even, we would even we would even get there because the thing is that you you do the two year program. Yeah. After the two year program, you get a work permit. Yes. You get a work permit and begin to work. Now, when you begin to work and you work for a year, you're eligible to apply for express entry. Mm. You can apply for your permanent residency. Yeah. Now, when you apply for your permanent residency and you then get it, the child can go back into university as a permanent resident. Let me say something, and you know, it's actually the foreign students that fund the locals. <laughs> yeah, international students. Yeah. You have right in your back. <laughs> I'm telling you, because truth be told, um, I remember when Real Action was getting into UBC. And if I'm not, if I remember very well, tuition alone was about 50 grand. Yeah. Like, what? As in, so you can imagine, right, meanwhile, as a, permanent as a permanent resident, even if she's taking four courses, okay. maybe like 2,000 or three, three, yeah. three grand or something for tuition. So it, it's, it's, so you can imagine. So what it does for you is that the child begins to work, um, gets their permanent resident, and then they can go back to university at cheaper fees. At cheaper fees. Your mind is at, even if you're still the one that will be paying because you don't want the child to be distracted, you want the child to go back to school full time, not a problem. But what you'll be paying this time around is not anything compared, cheaper than the college fees. Eh? Exactly, way cheaper than the college fees. And let me tell you the good part of it Canada is so huge on Canadian experience. Yeah. So, you know, it's, a, it's such a win-win situation because when that child graduates from university, the child already has in their bag a one-year or maybe 18 months work experience mm -hmm. that you can't buy. Yeah. I can tell you for free. So if you think, oh, the child would have lost two years or lost a year plus, the child did not lose anything, trust exactly. me. Because those people that did four years straight university, there is as nothing that... As international students. Yes, even as, peer, as international students, exactly. There is nothing that says that your child will not get a job before then. Because right here, as it is, it's a lot of struggle, you know, for international students when they graduate. It's some, some employers are a bit, you know, cautious when it comes to international um, students and all of that, which shouldn't be because it's not fair that people have spent so much money going to school here. And you know, I can recommend, you know, that there's a young man, extremely intelligent, very smart, and he's really been advocating it. And I would encourage everyone to just follow him on LinkedIn, um, Toby Oluwole, you know, and, and I think that's one of the things that he's very passionate about. And I, I, I guess it stems from his own personal experience as well as an international yeah, student yeah. and today one of the things that is very passionate about is helping international students you know get land a good job yeah. integrate into the system and all of that but you know that's still like mid-term for children that are yet to come into university here so there's nothing wrong with going to a college absolutely nothing, nothing. except you can really really afford it now I, I, and I, i'll try and use Nigeria, and I know that the people watching from everywhere. Now, for you to say you want to send your children straight to university here, 
personally, and I stand to be corrected, I believe that the household income for that family should be at least, when you change your current seal, should be at least 150,000 USD. Mm -hmm. I didn't say 200,000. 200,000 USD, seriously. Yeah. And why do I say that? Because um, someone was saying to me that U of T last year, Almost got to up almost a hundred thousand. They increase by two four two to four percent for international international students every year. Just yeah. just increase it. Yeah, and, and I hear that. So some of this universities here as as expensive as eighty thousand. That's now tuition, yeah. um, um, accommodation, tuition, everything. everything, books. You know, sometimes yeah, textbooks. <laughs> and sometimes just yeah, I don't even know. You know, in in our own time, somebody could say to their parents, "I want to buy bio." law and g mm -hmm. and they will you know they'll scam their parents and buy three now they, they can't scam us like that again mm -hmm. but <laughs> sometimes you're wondering this book <laughs> what are you guys reading? reading and all of that and those kind of expenses pop up from time to time there's also the expense of sometimes the children you know coming home mm -hmm. and that's another conversation and i guess maybe one of those days would do a video on it don't bring your children here if you would not make out time to come and see them or ensure that they come and see you don't drop a child here for four years, five years. You don't see them. You just might expect them to your school, their school fees to do as in, to chop life. <laughs> it's all sorts of stories that we hear, we, we, kind of things that we, we hear here. As you're making the budget for this Canada um, es, um, experience or journey, include please everything. include everything. Yeah. Include your transport money. <laughs> as you're applying for the child's visa, apply for your own too. Mm -hmm. Have it in your pockets. Just appear unannounced. I don't agree with that. <laughs> unannounced. Don't come unannounced, please. Unannounced. Just show up. No. Just come unannounced. <laughs> because you know what? There's so much contending for their attention here. And you know, it, I know that yes, we've raised awesome children, great children, but there's just so much. They're under so much pressure. The devil is not um, smiling here. You know, and I think it's very important. Even for their mental health, to just even have a, a feel of family. Feel, uh, if they have somebody, like a family friend here, like that they can maybe stay with, I would also recommend that you can't It's very, them. yeah. No, 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 but you see, that affordability to come. I'm not saying come every quarter. I'm not saying come every once. It can be once in a year. It can be twice a year. But my point really is, it must be factored into the cost of learning or what the cost of this project for you. Because you see, I have an auntie, I have an uncle here. This kind of the poor are all sleep. The also that people are also don't have time for your children and there is not personal. They've not finished parenting their child. So not having time for your children or your child is not because they are wicked or they don't want to do it. Time doesn't just permit it. Yeah. It's just the environment that they found themselves in. So you need to be extremely involved. Of course, you can't come every quarter. You can't come every... But you know, just to be involved. You know, so... One other option also is more affordable provinces. School fees are cheaper based on provinces i know that's like school fees in this is, ah, memorial memorial university in newfoundland their fees are like eighteen thousand dollars even for international yeah, that's the international fees twenty thousand even manitoba oh manitoba so, oh yeah exactly manitoba, manitoba. is also an affordable option, option as so, well so so i think those are the things that people need to explore don't get yourself your yeah team. don't they don't say oh hey eh, my child was going to ubc my child was going to U, um, u of t my child was going to uh what's it called um york yeah seriously yeah. some of those schools are expensive but it's about what you can afford yeah that's true it's about what you can afford it's about where you're at and the truth about it is that if that's even if you say oh by by fire by force my child was going to university straight up mm -hmm. but seriously i kind of think or i would recommend that people should explore the college colleges, option. the college options first, yeah. you know, and after that, you know, the child applies for PR and can go into university. And guess what? All of those, all of those credits, make sure you do credits that are transferable. Yes. You know, make sure the child registers for credits that are transferable. All of those credits are transferable so into yeah, university. Exactly. exactly. The child is not starting like that fresh and that's exactly what four years so it's no. two years work for one year gain experience i'm saying that experience is like it, that, it gives you i'm just putting your resume because at the end of the day you can't put that um job you did for that uncle on the side in lagos they're not going to consider it as like 
um work experience. Work experience. So yeah, they're like oh Canada experience, Canada experience, your Canadian experience. experience. So you know that can that Canadian experience is one of the advantages of even going exactly. you know the college route. And then you still get your PR, you pay PR fees for the net for the last two years. Your degree will still say you graduated from Thank UBC, you. Or yeah. you graduated from U of T or you graduated from what so it just gives you a bit more time. Especially like people that let's say your child is in um year nine now and you have three more years to plan and you're able to rack up a hundred and fifty thousand dollars now you rack up you, you start like you keep this college, college on the side but now you have five years to rack up that amount for university and it's now even cheaper fees at the end of the day you, you don't end up paying that bulk of money that like scared you hear on the tv and you're scared like oh my child can't come to Canada, i can't do it you can still give them an, a, a, a better opportunity you can still give them um better experiences with, by being on a budget, knowing where you're, where you are in life right now, knowing your place. Absolutely, and you like, know, life is in stages. Exactly. Men are in sizes. Exactly. You know, it's every, everybody's race is different. That's the truth. You know, you 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 might see your neighbor doing it, and you're thinking that like, they can do it. I can do it. Yeah. Hey, that was what the children of um, the Egyptians thought to. I haven't seen the children of Israel walk, walk through, through the, the Red Sea. You said they you know, they wanted to. <laughs> no, they wanted to attend the same thing. People are carrying different graces. Yeah. People's preparation and all of that differs. Don't copy another person. Stay on your lane. Do what works for you as a family. Sit down, have the conversation. And I think it's also how some of these things are sold to the children. Yeah. You know, um, let the children know that there's really nothing wrong with going with into college. a college. Yeah. And sometimes, Seth, you don't even want to pay the whole... Eighty thousand. Your child says, "I don't want to be. I don't want to be a doctor." Oh, again. oh I don't want to. That's be. another <laughs> conversation. Like, I know Most children <laughs> in this Canada, <laughs> they start off with one course. Yeah, you see, I'm one year kid. down the line, I don't yeah. know whether it's brainwave. I don't know what it is. Then they tell you, "Oh, I'm changing." Some of those credits are gone. Yeah, exactly. They are gone. Those monies that you paid. Five grand. Five, five grand per credit. Credit. credit is gone. Well, you're making this video because people already think that college is not an option, you know, that oh, it's like high school. College is different from high school. High school is grade 12 and college is an alternative, it's post-secondary. It's post-secondary, you know? exactly. It's not university. It's not university yeah, it's post-secondary. Post -secondary. And, and you get a diploma. Exactly. You get a diploma, you get time to work off what's it called. And my mom was telling me something earlier today that at the end of the day, when you finish university as an international student, things like looking for who will sponsor you come in, all of that, it's more difficult to get a job as an international student. So once you don't have that work experience, yeah, it's, it's right? difficult to get a job on with work permit. With a work permit, permit. Yeah. so now you have your permanent residency. You worked for a year. You have that experience to put on your resume. Something that makes sense. Not even you just work McDonald's. You have two years of a diploma, which means you can actually apply for an apprenticeship at a proper place. You can actually apply for. Yeah, and I, 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 I believe it's a win-win. And like you rightly yeah. said as well, when the child is graduating, what they see on the certificate is the oh. UBC, is the U of T. Is a Waterloo. It's not. There is nothing that says, "Oh, um, um, Umba College transfer to, to York. York." Yeah, exactly. No, it's a York yeah. University that is going to appear there. Yeah, but it's just better soft landing, ease into the system, and um, if you don't know what you want to do, if you don't have the if you don't have the finances supported. If you just know where you need to be at that point in time, there's an other option. It's, that it's expensive, and yeah. seriously, except people are on a maybe the family earns two hundred grand after tax. That's a family income. Yeah. It, it's it's uh, people should be careful yeah. because um, I, I I strongly believe, and I might be wrong, that people are putting themselves under a lot of pressure. pressure. Sister of mine was saying to me yesterday that um, she has a young girl in her, in her workplace that um, you know might have to leave Canada right now. What happened? She's in a particular university. Her parents can no longer afford to keep her there. She wants to change to a college in another province. Um, however, for last year's fees, she's still owing 12000 yeah. So the school is saying they're not going to give her transcripts to be able to transfer. You know, And she goes like, the girl just comes to work like literally every day. She's crying. Seriously, the children don't have to be under that kind of yeah. mental torture. And you see, even after all of the suggestions we've given you, you can't still afford college, you can't still afford. Please keep the children in your country. <laughs> I'm serious because the truth is that away from Nigeria, and today we have an awesome, awesome university, Convenant University. A Convenant <laughs> University graduate, and seriously, actually, a Convenant actually, University graduate would rival most schools. In fact, some schools, all these mushroom one-story building schools in the UK, especially, you know, they are not a match for a Convenant University. Yeah. Even here, 
there are only very few schools that can match up to them. So we have great schools in Nigeria. Pan-African University is great. You know, Babcock, there are a couple of them like that. But I can, at least, uh, the Covenant graduates that may have interacted with you, men, give it to those guys. So it's not, you don't really, the child can then come and do postgraduate. Exactly. The child can, you know, it, it's not, if the child does not do first degree here, nothing is going to happen. Exactly. Some of us did not do our first degree. Some of us did not even have passports until <laughs> what age. And God still took us to where he wanted to take us to. So don't put yourself under undue pressure. Yeah. There are great schools in Ghana. There are great schools in Kenya. You know, there are great schools all over. There are great schools in Ethiopia. There are great schools in India. There are great schools in China. Yeah. You know, and it's just about ensuring, just making the best of wherever you are at right now. And make yeah. sure you do your research. Make sure you do your research, research, research all the time. Regardless of what you are watching on the internet, go and do your research with yeah. your lawyer, with your immigration officer, everything you need yeah. to do. Make, to... make sure that whatever program your child is coming for, especially if they're coming the college exactly. route, it's um, eligible um for um, work permits yes yeah. speak to an academic academic advisor as well um i'm going to add like school in, we're going to we're going to we're going to look for colleges that like have we're going to help you guys do some work and help you find colleges that are um that allow um work visa no um, i think what we just do is create a link so there's a cicc link yeah. and once you click on that link it shows you all the provinces all the colleges That's and then you know programs. and all the programs okay. and you'll see on it yes or no yes or no okay. yes meaning that is eligible no okay. meaning that is not eligible that so we'll just put a link description box down below thank you so 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 much for evil coming thank you for you sharing welcome. your time i was just listening i was also taking in the information i'm sure you guys too were just sitting down listening I'm, i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for coming thank, thank you. you i'm so proud of you well done well thank done thank you thank you all right thank you so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe share and comment down below what you think about this video ask questions her instagram is going to be in the description so people always dm me dm her to share she can answer your questions as well dm her let ask her questions um and thank you so much for watching um hope to see you guys in my next video have a good day bye